Welcome to the project demonstration of voice control air purifier bacteria killing and sleep assistance by using the Arduino you know so here we have uh, we are using the multiple sensors to monitor the uh, like uh, air uh, parameters like one is a DHT double one so here we are using the this one is a DHT double one we are using and the next air quality sensor MQ135 and PM 2.5 this particulate matters which is a diameter of 2.5 microns so that will be counted by this one PM 2.5 sensor so all these three sensors will provide us a four parameters this one digital humidity and temperature and air quality in ppm is a parts per million and PM 2.5 is going to be the micrograms per uh, meter cube so these are the details will be continuously monitored by our UNO board and that data will be displayed on the LCD screen first step and the next step is if is there any abnormality detected then it will provide the voice output from this API double three three voice module means if it is a air quality abnormal or PM 2.5 abnormal that will be messaged uh, announced through this API double three three that is the audio playback recorder and the next thing is the same data is uploaded to the ThinkSpeak cloud platform so we can access the data from anywhere in the world so let us place this in desktop view right now so we are getting the this data like uh, here uh, digital humidity humidity and temperature humidity temperature and air quality in ppm and pm 2.5 data so these are can be accessed from anywhere in the world till you clear this channel it keep on uh, stay on the screen only and we can download that also after downloading we can clear i will show you that details and the next feature is we can control when a uh, abnormal voice announcement was uh, alerted from this module we can control this inside the uv lamp for bacteria killing we placed so in the inside this room so we have placed the bacteria killing and this is the bacteria killing purpose uv lamp so we have placed this side i'll show you that while when we on that and the red color one is a air filter which will filter the uh, air quality whenever the air quality alert provided then it will filter that air so these two are the uh, like precautionary controlling systems which we are using in our project so coming to the power supply section so we are providing 230 volts ac input to these two regular power supply boards one regular power supply board to control the air purifier and another regular power supply to provide the power supply for the whole uh, input and output modules in our project and uh, one relay to control the uv lamp and another relay to control the air purifier which was connected inside that and the next esp8266 wifi module to upload the data to the thingspeak cloud platform lcd display continuously uh, will show the status of the sensors data and this is the driver circuit which we have interfaced between the pm 2.5 and our arduino uno board and this is the api 333 we have discussed in the speaker outputs and this is the breadboard to distribute the power supply throughout the input and output modules and coming to the interfacing connections lcd interface reads pin number 22 pin number 7 and this one is connected at the uh, a0 and 10th pin of this uh, you know board and a1 and a2 is connected to the dst double one and uh, pm uh, air quality sensor and the wi-fi module is connected to the pin number 8 and 9 bluetooth module at the receiving pin of our UNO board and these two relays are connected at the A4 and A5 pins so these are the mainly interfacing connections so before on the kit so we need to do some initial steps in mobile phone to execute the output so very first setup is step is uh, we need to enable the hotspot in your phone so for that go to hotspot settings of your phone configure the hotspot name to project 5496 without any space without any capital letter and the password should be 12345678989 and ap band should be 2.4 gigahertz after enabling the hotspots and data then login to the thingspeak cloud platform right okay and uh, next is we need to install one more application that is arduino bluetooth controller this application we need to install that right after installation this when you open the app we need to configure the voice commands so that is first command is light on that's the uv light on and the next that's command to be sent is capital a and the next light off and command to be sent is small a so capital a small a to control the light uv light and uh, filter on for this we need to send the capital b 
and next filter off so you can write double f, double f also why because when you say this word if it shows filter off then you need to write here off otherwise if it shows off only you can write off here and data to be sent is small b so capital a small a for uv lights capital b small b for this uh, filter on and off after successfully configured done now you can on the power supply to this kit initially welcome message will be displayed on the lcd screen and after that we can see the sensors data continuously right so now we are getting the continuous data first one is degree centigrade temperature and percentage nothing but humidity and appm nothing but air quality ppm data and micrograms per meter cube is pm 2.5 data now next when you are demonstrating the project in very first time in a mobile phone we need to pair to the bluetooth module initially for that go to bluetooth module settings and uh, let me show you from initial setup onwards i am unpairing this right now search for that so when you see the hc05 it will ask for the password 1234 is a password after pairing here after pairing from the settings now directly go to the application the next time you can directly come to the application and search for hc05 and pair to that after connecting from here right now you can stay on this and uh, go to think speak see now we are getting the data so if you want to get the fresh data first of all erosy erasing this old data my suggestion is to download the data for that data import exports so here download the option open file so there we get the data in excel sheet format so it consists of date and time at which the samples was collected and the next column is going to be the number of entries means number of samples till now collected and the next is the humidity like this one number of samples humidity temperature and the air quality ppm value and pm 2.5 data so after you took the backup now go to channel settings in that only do clear channel don't do delete channel only clear channel right so i'm repeating that channel settings to clear channel and uh, private view right private view to see the live data so now the thing speak data can it, it can accept the data for every 15 seconds of duration now let us see the outputs by increasing the abnormal parameters then we can control the uh, uv lights and the filter right this i'm giving the smoke input as it has as a pm 2.5 data more alert so, abnormal pm 2.5 data right, it was raised when it crosses the 45 micrograms per uh, meter cube then alert, automatically clear so now if you want to on this uh, filter now open go to this app so now microphone alert, abnormal pm 2.5 data light on So you will have got switched on. Filter on. Right. So both on. So you can see that inside that. So it was got switched on. It's about one minute. right so once it will clear it will come to normal and uh, we can provide the gas input also what can you so any gas or smoke input for this air quality input was given so just press it gently air quality so wait for some time it will be cleared right Now the PM 2.5 got clear. So when the air quality is uh, PPM less than the 100, then it's normal. Light off. Filter off. Right.